diving deeper into the truck, they didn't design it like this just to look cool. They actually designed it like this because of materials manufacturing innovation that make this extremely practical and will lead to a ton of sales for the vehicle. So let's talk about what this thing is and why it's so different. Let's start with the exoskeleton. So the Cybertruck is a totally rethinking how a vehicle is designed. Instead of having this chassis in the middle that is sort of the structural frame of the vehicle, and then you have all these stamped you know, al aluminum or metal parts that are spot welded on the outside. You don't really have much strength in the skin of that vehicle. It's on the inside. Tesla's rethought that and put the strength on the outside of the vehicle, sort of like a bug, um, with an exoskeleton. And that is what you're seeing. That's extremely boxy, rugged design. So they say the Cybertruck is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. Starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton, every component is designed for superior strength and endurance. From ultra-hard, 30x rolled cold stainless steel structural skin to Tesla armor glass. This exoskeleton is built out of a stainless steel alloy that Tesla developed in partnership with SpaceX, it sounds like. This is the same metal that is going on a rocket to Mars. And so that is the, the frame and what makes the truck so durable on these ultra hard, this ultra hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel. If there was something better, we'd use it. Helps eliminate dents, damage, and long-term corrosion with a smooth monochrome exoskeleton that puts the shell of the outside of the car and provides you and your passengers maximum protection. Elon Musk goes on to clarify that the reason the Cybertruck is so planar is that you can't stamp ultra hard 30X steel because it breaks the stamping press. He also goes on to say, haha, true, new manufacturing methods are certainly needed, but then I'm confident it will actually cost less because of its simplicity and lower part count. So why did Tesla pick this stainless steel alloy? First of all, it's incredibly hard, it's incredibly durable, you want a badass tough truck, this is gonna do it. But it's actually much simpler design in the long run and could potentially be cheaper, not only being more functional. Why is that? The stainless steel, of course, it's a better material, but it's so simple. So like Elon says, it would literally break the stamping press. I've been to Fremont, it's this huge machine that goes like this, stamps these sheets of aluminum into the side panels for the vehicle, but literally this stainless steel is so hard, it would break that press. I mean, it's pretty hard to imagine um, that, but that's, that, that's what it would be. So they have to come up with new manufacturing methods and it's much harder to curve this extremely rigid and tough material so they can only just bend it in these tiny right angles and that's why it looks so boxy such a radical departure from everything we've seen tesla do design wise is back to this materials and production innovation you have it the exoskeleton not only does it look crazy and cool and futuristic but it's actually genuinely practical from a consumer standpoint in terms of ruggedness and from a manufacturing standpoint in terms of simplicity and cost